I don't know why, but easily 10 years ago, after my rooting thousands of rose cuttings over easily 10, 12 years, I became cursed, uh, which is not good when you're a so-called rose breeder and a rosarian. I've tried countless mediums, hormones, approaches, uh, uh, almost a total failure rate for a decade now, which has been deeply frustrating because, like I said, I used to write them, root them by the thousands using builder sand and soda pop bottles. This is an approach that seems to be working. I have a neighbor who works in a Montessori school, and the kids get crackers, and I think in this case it was cheese balls or something. Let's see, yeah, cheese balls in these big plastic tubs, and she knows I like to do bulk food storage, so she's always thoughtfully leaving them on my front porch. My neighbor Shirley does this. Um, I guess, let's see if I can find the date tag on this in here. Yeah, it says October 3rd. I took cuttings off my Madame Antoine Marie, which is a very drought tolerant tea I have out by the street uh, in a water wise container garden. And I stuck them in this tub. What I did is I uh, have restricted the airflow somewhat with this uh, loose plastic cap, and sometimes I have it you know, open a little ways, uh, all the way off to for airflow, not too much humidity. But I want to show you all what's happened after my years of being cursed. Let's go out in the bright sunshine. And I think you'll be able to see in the light, the soil uh, at the bottom of the barrel is crisscrossed with all kinds of beautiful white roots from these cuttings. I'm really excited to see this. I'm going to be potting these up today. I have other tubs like this uh, elsewhere in the yard. I've got some out in the back porch. Uh, this is my front porch, which faces north. Now, since I stuck these cuttings, we've cooled down dramatically. So I've brought it in a couple times because we had a couple nights of 41. But this method uh, seems to be working only for roses. But down here, I'm rooting some uh, hybrid vincas in a similar tub. Let's see what came in these. Uh, pretzels. So I wanted to show folks this because these are containers that would have been discarded. And they seem to be working for me. And if this continues to work, I'm going to go back into rose production and sell plants uh, from my home because Tampa now is down to uh, just one rose nursery that's only open a few hours per week. So just give this a try and see if you can keep your eyes peeled for containers like this. Oh, by the way, the soil mix is a probiotic uh, greenhouse mix. A friend gave me a bale of it. It has mycorrhizae added to the soil, and I have it just slightly, slightly damp. Um, I think in the past, like I failed recently in this fish tank, I had a ton of cuttings in here that seemed to be doing well for over a month, and then they all went brown, and when I checked, I'd let the soil medium get too dry. Now this here is a mixture of that potting soil and garden soil. But this approach here using the probiotic a greenhouse mix is working really good. Just wanted to pass on this tip. Bye bye y'all.